Uh, it is now my great pleasure to introduce somebody who really needs no introduction if you were at the uh, Rockford Japanese Gardens yesterday. Uh, like all artists, and great artists um, in particular, his work kind of speaks for the values of the artist. Uh, but to, to give you the sort of the, the ofi official uh, biographical survey, as I introduce our, our keynote speaker, Hoichi Kurisu, he is the president and founder of Kurisu International Incorporated uh, in Portland, Oregon. Uh, Hoichi Kurisu studied landscape design in Tokyo under the noted landscape des designer Kenzo Ogata. From 1968 to 1972, Hoichi served as landscape director for the Japanese Garden Society of Portland and is responsible for many of the early innovations at the Portland Japanese Garden. In 1972, Hoichi founded Kurisu International, a landscape design build firm whose unique gardens create inner space for inspiration and healing. Hoichi Kurisu believes in the restorative powers of nature and the necessity of natural encounters for lasting health of our minds, our bodies, and our communities. In the pursuit of this mission, Hoichi Kurisu has established a reputation for gardens of the highest quality and has completed projects across the United States and internationally. Um, I uh, have been looking at a number of his gardens for 20 years since we first met in Portland, Oregon in the 1990s, and it's just been such a pleasure to see his gardens. I was in Gainesville, Florida at the Horn Museum, two rooftop gardens uh, there last week, and uh, uh, just a remarkable career. I know Hoichi has a lot to say. We're running slightly behind time, so without further ado, please join me in welcoming our keynote speaker, Hoichi Kudisu. Well, wow. thank you very much, uh, Kendall Brown, is for such a detailed introduction. Also, this morning, the first thing Kendall told me is you have to five minutes cut your time. <laughs> I prepared 30 minutes, well, in one hour. But uh, may I ask to everybody, just to stand up 20 seconds, not the five minutes, but the 20 seconds. It's just a stretch, so I can drink the water. <laughs> It is my great pleasure and uh, having this opportunity is a great honor to share with you how Japanese garden mean to individually, community, society, to the world. I have a special privilege uh, to go back to uh, the childhood memory. I live the entirely different two worlds. One is before end of the Second World War and after the war. I lived this little town from the Hiroshima is our, our way. And uh, I, as a kid, it's a very happy time here, but it's a, we don't know what's going on outside of Japan. Even the inside, of course. But 1941, December 25th, Japanese Navy launched a surprise attack Pearl Harbor, United States Navy. But we didn't know. But I know everything shortage. Food-wise, 
no much eat, but as a kid, not quite we didn't feel hungry because we have uh, so many things to co collect from the nature. Just this time of the year, the foot of the mountain is a big wild pear trees. And we go there and uh, just a ping pong ball size of the wild pears. Doesn't this good though? <laughs> but it's good enough for fill up our tummy and also gathered to bring to the, my home. Mushrooms, chestnuts, we have a fun to collect and eat. And the toy wise, we don't have an iPhone, <laughs> but it's a, we have slingshot from the twig <laughs> and the compete among the children and uh, the friends, and also sometimes use as a weapon to kill the bird for eat, but not much successful once in a while. <laughs> But it's uh, toward the more end of the war, 1943 or so, is uh, the elder people start to say to us, the kids, is we are fighting to the United States as for the emperor. Yay, we are, let's do it, the kind of spirit. And every village people has uh, that spirit. Even the, the dice planting time is every together and the singing and the joking and the planting. Such a fun time to community spirit. But in the village it's not many people. Uh, all men went to Southern Pacific. It just left is uh, women and uh, kids and older person. But the most vivid memory I have, I found that these plants in my grandpa's yard. What it is? Chinese peony, not Japanese peony, Chinese peony called. But anyway, such a, I don't know what to say. Just like I want to embrace my hands and heart, and if I expression here is life connected. But this kind of fantastic memory and fascination is end up here. 50 megatons tons exploded above the Hiroshima city. For your information, one megaton is 100,000 tons of TNT. 50 megaton is a 5 million tons of TNT. This bomb flattened out Hiroshima City. This symbolized with the end of the war, flattening out the whole Japan's lost culture, family system, social order. Japanese people have to start from the ground up. Someday, right, not too late, uh, long after, teacher told us, U.S. the soldier coming. We are so afraid, and we hide it. I remember hide it in toilet and peek through the, the coming. But later on, somebody told is to conquer. The Mongol is you don't need a gun, you need a, only a bar of chocolate. Same thing happening is uh, so often GI is coming up with a little jeep and give us a chewing gum or a bar. Wow, 
the 180 degree, our fear and everything changed. We are looking forward to, to coming there. Also at the same time, Japan engaged the, in the industry, you have to modernize. My junior college graduate, 90, almost 95%, every went to Beltline. Cannot go to the high school because of the money, you have to make money and also labor shortage. 10 years later, already transistor is on the market. And uh, black and white TV to pretty soon is a color TV. And 20 years later, it's a very trend they produce. Japanese community, Japanese, I'm sorry, Japanese industry and uh, society is gathered and the industry is uh, straight up. I fortunately went through high school to college. When I graduated, I don't have much inspiration, is motive, but still that time is in Japan, is America is such a dream country. And every saying America, America. So I had the chance to go, decided to United States. This is a newly launched is a DC-8, Pan American. Not uh, uh, Narita, is at that time Haneda, is I got in this plane, wow! <laughs> what is this? It's really a surprise. And then landed US uh, at Los Angeles. What I see it. <laughs> Big cards and uh, steaks. I, I never seen it, I never tasted it either. Actually, the, the Cadillac is uh, bigger than my apartment in Tokyo. <laughs> <laughs> While the, my father is happened to be gardener and landscaper, and I started to work together right away. I discovered myself, something happening in my blood. This passion, fascination, working with soil, plants, just I cannot resist. Every day is more increasing, increasing. Even the Caesar, lavish landscape, Hollywood area, and also, that 50, 60, 70 is Japanese garden. It's everybody wants to have a Japanese garden. It's kind of uh, uh, fashion there. I don't know this one. He calls it Japanese garden. <laughs> but he went to the Cambodia and the Philippines. And the, still, they call proud of it, Japanese garden. This kind of garden. I saw so many places, but in my mind, no, that's not the Japanese garden. So, my passion rediscovered my fascination of the plants. I couldn't resist not to go home. I like to go home and study and bring back fantastic Kyoto traditional garden. So I went back with this kind of image in my mind. This is some point, most luxury built Japanese garden in the Japanese garden history. But somebody one day introduced me, Mr. Kenzo Ogata, and he took me this garden. Wow, this is a different than what I have in my mind, Kyoto area. Entirely different design, but I couldn't figure out why I 
felt so impressed. Something indescribable peace that happened to be May, I remember, bright sun screening the fresh leaves through it and resting on the green moss. And the left-hand side is soothing water sound, stepping stone leading to another area. This is it. Of course, traditional garden is not bad, but this is it, what I have in my mind. Kenzo Ogata is, is previously introduced us, but uh, that time is a leading landscape architect to design this type of the garden. We call Zoki no Niwa, which is using native plants and create a harmonious space, peaceful space for the people and the public space. Zoki is the full of, used to be full of the forest in the above the Tokyo plain, but those landscape architects never missed it, those kind of beautiful the native plants. Native plants is responding four seasons, as you know, and even the winter time, the leaves out, the structure of the the trunk is very interesting, and autumn is uh, give you a uh, all different shade of the autumn color. This is uh, some courtyard, but the winter time is a snow in the trunk, and behind the mountain, you are seeing that. But it's uh, the spring come near the Summer is be behind the backdrop mountain is one togetherness and the, you are living in that room is uh, you, whole nature with you. Mr. Ogata, in interview, he quoted, we are making for responding contemporary life. This is in the heart of the Tokyo, Roppongi, you know that. Steve knows very well. <laughs> this is uh, one of the students of Ogata, designed and built. 30 years ago, Mr. Ogata said, we are responding the world, society need. That technique, of the how to build a Japanese garden is not much changed since Heian period to now. Maybe style is different, but the most changed is outside of the world. Many, many things happening. Right now is uh, Ebola and uh, global warming, many issues we have. But I like to pick three area prevalent we face. Technology, we are depending so much technology. The other day, about a month ago, was so passed by Detroit airport. And uh, we actually, Taka and Pedro and uh, me, and a little bit hungry, let's bite. And uh, Google it, and uh, there is a little you know, restaurant there. So we run into there and sit down at the table. We found this one. <laughs> oh, how to play this one? <laughs> Uh, that's, that's a computer game. <laughs> no, this is a menu. <laughs> you push the button there, then the order is that, that one come out to the, your table. 
No human interaction. You don't now is the other day, not too long ago, I passed the Minneapolis. It's a big one there. And uh, also, is uh, you don't, you know, how to, I mean, the, there are many places. Home Depot is 27, 30 days, times. maybe three is a lump is going, and that's the service. Uh, rest of them are self service. You go in without no interaction, get the plants, scan it, pay it, get out to the car. Recently, in Korea, the, the big virtual market appeared. You don't need any interact with people. You yourself, before you get on the subway, the pictures material, that's not the real material, the pictures. You scan it and order it. When you got home, that material waiting for you. I wonder the result of this unhumanized society, what kind of things happen or I'm a little concerned about. People is convenient. Maybe younger generation is fun of it. Maybe, I mean, the convenient, the interesting in. But something I'm concerned Uh, uh, urbanization, another one, is uh, 2007. UN addressed the 50 percent of the grow, uh, the whole world population is living concentrated area. Middle of the this century is over 80 percent world population is tried concentrated that red mark area. That means is that the city is expanding. We are losing nature. And the people have to access to the nature. The city is a, should be, is the people is living together is much more in the communication interaction. Of course, it's technology is people doing that, but real human eye to eye kind of react, react, uh, connection. This is community. I mentioned that the, the spirit. This is a city people come to the rural area to experience even that they pay themselves and practice, uh, no, enjoy the, the rural life. They are in the muddy rice field planting the rice. And most of the people come back to the field and the harvest. This is good experience, is the nature's circle, cycle, is nature's nature. Next one, third one is uh, everybody granted the stress. Stress is a big, big things, but every, no much issue of it. It uh, seems to me is uh, as a matter of the daily things. But that's the 21st uh, century epidemic. Stresses, 75% of health care cost due to the chronic illness. Number one is a stress, cause of chronic illness. 7.7 .7 million veterans suffer from PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder. Veterans is the most high, not the most, highest suicide rate now.
cost the business too over three hundred billion dollar estimated the costing the American business. American Psychological Society announced is the stress rate is not only adult is younger generation even the grammar school student is raise, rising. Well, as a Japanese garden designer, what are we supposed to do with this? We know garden heals. And a lot of books published and research has been done. But in order to respond outside of the world happening, is we have to know that what's happening and what has to be done. Later on, as mentioned before too, is uh, the, this issue is uh, some people is uh, talking about it. We sometime go back that you call Sakteiki is a 12th century written is how to build a Japanese garden. We might find some answer. Ishinoko wa nishitagaite. Follow the request of the stone. Well, the Sakteiki mentioned so many area cover, but it's a basically done against the nature, study the nature, follow the nature. That's the essence of it. That's I understand. This sentence, follow the request of the stone. My teacher used to say, ki say the word. Ki is air, the say is a follow. That's echo to me. At the same time, it's the same actual meaning. He used to say every item has sh uh, shadow. Well, shadow is it's hard to in interpret, but the way understood, it took a long time. Is every item has a quality, energy, and flowing power to utilize that power quality to create the space. For example, up and down trees is uh, growing straight up in the, to the ground, the power you can feel. Boulder is the same way. And if you select the slanted one, it's much more dynamic flow and energy you feel, right? Just for fun, let's exercise one thing. This forest, native forest, is from my site, Grand Rapids. Mr. President here, too. Uh, of the Fred Meyer's Japanese Garden. Uh, on the way to apartment, this is a place I oftentimes stop and uh, look at the, this forest. You can see straight up and down the power of the big trees and a lot of brushes underneath, but particularly sunny place or foggy time is it's a very beautiful spot. But not quite you want to get in there. <laughs> because underbrush, I know, I know poison ivy there. <laughs> also might be snake. <laughs> so as a Japanese landscape designer, try to create here 
again, this is exercise, okay? Try that, and this is a sketch I done as exactly way you look at. They clean up the bottom area, nicer open space. And introducing the, I mentioned the slanting, little bit dynamic power flow, and the ground is open space. And of, as a Japanese garden, everybody, I believe, learned is a proportion, space, harmony, by triangle system. This triangle is, is a, how you do it. You, you don't have any particular number. It's according to what the creator's vision to create the inside of the uh, space, their comfortable way. If the, any strong, Left hand, left to left, uh, right is uh, some more element to put in that this triangle, scaling, you call scaling triangle, is changing all the time. It's according to the, the situation. If this scaling triangle try to apply to actual garden, some of them visited yesterday Anderson Garden, I didn't particularly figure out this triangle when we making this garden. But intuitively, you creating the space is some way is that kind of uh, space you can create. Actually, is this triangle is according to the size of the borders Left hand side of the bottom is much bigger, is probably going to the more left. And the top is, if the much, much more you know, lighter, then the go down. It's a, according to the situation, the volume and the quality is change. This white area is a space which we are talking about. But the Anderson Gardens, this fall is not only here a space, the garden, Japanese garden, has many places. You will turn around or just stop it. There is a, that kind of space, continuous the space we are creating. This is a garden map. <laughs> Grammar student can do it. <laughs> one rock plus one rock equal two rocks, right? <laughs> one rock plus one rock plus one rock. It's not three rocks. What happening here? is the greater than each item. This is, you cannot, the grammar school student cannot do it. You can do it. The circle area is what we call ma. Write this letter, ma. Ma is literally, you cannot trans translate. That's the, the profound and the deep meaning, the experience. But sometimes this Ma is utilizing so many ways, distance, space, but to apply to art form is much different this creating 
much, much infinite meaning of the space. This one, this ma applied to garden. This is a Ryoanji temple, is a world of famous some stone garden, Zen gardens, uh, 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 garden. Almost uh, you cannot uh, find a space to see this garden, but the many, many students and the visitors sitting on this right hand side. I hope they are looking at something, not only rock, but it's a space, the huge, vast space that's made this, make this garden. Same kanji, choreography, ma, is uh, so many ways. Is two dimension, three dimension, even the time, even the human beings. Right hand side, one word is like, a, like this word, is the man. And adding the ma is a people, is between the man and men, is a space. That's what we call people. Without that, that you don't call the people. I think here is uh, Mr. Okusa is uh, the the master of the martial art, but he knows better. But this this also when they just start to fight, you call the mayotoru mai is a distance. You are yourself and opponent. You you have to you, you yourself have to figure out how strong they are, the quality of the man, which way he is going to move. According to that, one step back or even one step forward. When we are setting borders, one quality borders set it, next one is where is this kind of system. Not much this kind of killed or killing, not that kind of severe, but it's in order to make a comfortable space. Is this the system? You know for arrangement is a three point this this space. The all for our arrangement, any schools basically learn this one, then they developed another uh, different arrangement. Japanese dance is the watch the body shape in the kimono and watch this tabi. Okay? Direction and eyes. Where, it's, where this eyes is landed, <coughs> this space. Japanese dance, particularly traditional dance, is particularly is continuous ma. Next uh, movement of the hands and the neck and the heads and the, you are making another ma. Is uh, this ma is telling a lot of story. The other meaning of it. How about this? Our custom. Two ladies bowing each other, but very sincerely. This space is full of the heartfelt love, you might say, greeting. Western culture, you don't have that space, right? Quick, remind me, are they a handshake or the huggers? <laughs> so when I came to the United States, people tried to hug it. <laughs> On the top of it, try to kiss it. No. <laughs> But I'm now okay. 
welcome. <laughs> In order to understand the Ma, let's take another video this, this time. It's take a look at. There is a concept called ma. Ma means empty or distance or um, blank, blankness. So if you, uh, when you see Japanese no theater with Japanese music, there's uh, plenty of ma, plenty of uh, silence. Even in, in a daily conversation within Japanese, they, there are lots of ma. I always uh, you know, uh, sense the difference between that kind of uh, sense of time of Japanese and the Westerners, especially Americans. In, in conversation with American people, you need, to keep, you need to keep talking. So I think people uh, have a kind of uh, uh, feel a little afraid of uh, having ma between, you know, between my talk and your talk. But somehow Japanese people have a sense to enjoy that that kind of uh, blankness, that kind of notion reflects in every aspect of uh, Japanese, especially traditional culture. <laughs> Well, uh, let's ask famous kabuki actor, Onoe Kikugoro, is, uh, when he's a student, asked him, how I can dance like you do? He said, they are two kinds of ma one that can be taught and one that can not. After I teach the first kind, you must go on to master the second by yourself. Second ma is a different character, right? Is First ma is we explained, we, we discussed today, is the form, the garden or dance, the form. That one is, we can do it. Our, as a Japanese landscaper, is a, we can make a garden. But the ma, next, second ma, is uh, you have to do by yourself, but this meaning is our human being, our self's dark spot. We have to conquer that. We have to get rid of it. One by one is jealousy or even the passion in a way, human passion or agony or your struggles from the divorce, whatever. You take out from your heart, where is it? What is it? Inside is nothing. But that nothing you call also ma. That ma bring in receptivity, awareness. Without your take the second ma, you cannot feel the receptivity or awareness of 
your surrounding nature or you are not alone. That awareness is able to expand to even the universe. I couldn't figure out why I felt something indescribable peace here. As a landscaper, we can plant trees and the stepping sun for so on, but not the style. Whatever style takes, but this, you have to make a second ma. The experience cannot figure out or taught is that's the, the people, both creator and the visitors, but the, the experience, that's the healed. That's what we call healing garden. But the essence of the Japanese garden, in order to reach Japanese garden has uh, so many enlightenment. Is a meandering pathway, stepping stone, or disturbing branches, uh, and reach to the spot, and people feel the, ah, that space, that experience, we have to really consider the style is important, but more so, the experience where to deliver, to whom. <coughs> Later on, Diane Taniguchi will give us a talk, is even the black water treatment, wetland, bring to the, this essence to integrate all the community. Friends, there are many, many places, peoples, we have to deliver and integrate. world needs you, needs us. If we do that, the vast grandeur horizon is opening up for us. Thank you very much. <laughs>